Hey everybody, it's Mars, and I got out of work. So, I decided I was going to do a vlog. Um, you like my hair? It's It looked better earlier, but I have it all bunched up. It was prettier earlier. I promise. I promise, promise. <laughs> so, anyways, have you guys, do you, if you go to Jack in the Box, they have these smoothies that are fantabulous. Um, it's a piña colada smoothie, or as they say here, piña colada. Mm. Divine. Anyways, I decided to do a vlog because I have a side project. But before I get to that, let me show you this. I think I showed it in my makeup video, but I am in love with this. It is the Laura Geller, um, their baked shadows. I love all Laura Geller baked products. I don't like her mascaras too much, but her baked products are amazing. And this one's called Blush and Brighten Berry. And it looks like this. It's so pretty. It's got like gold flecks in it. And I've been wearing this. And if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a photo of my everyday look, which is what I'm wearing right now. And I put this blush on. I don't even know if you'll be able to pick it up in this lighting, but I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? That's what it looks like. And it's got like, you see how it's real shimmery? Somebody commented on, oh, that sucks. The gold doesn't go all the way through. Well, somebody comment, commented on one of my photos that I posted and they're like, your face looks so pretty because it's glowing. And it's because of this blush. Right now I'm glowing because I'm sweating because I was sweating and this is like my full day. Oh, this is how my eye makeup lasts through a 11 hour shift at work. Pretty snazzy, huh? Um, it's this concealer that's amazing. I love it. It's also Laura Geller. I promise she's not paying me. <laughs> I guess this will kind of make up for that shitty mascara she made. At Long Lash Mascara. This is like the shittiest mascara ever. But the Real Deal Concealer is amazing. You just need the tiniest bit. Now I know why it comes in such a small package. Because you just need the tiniest shit and it like covers like crazy. And it doesn't crease. It doesn't crease. I was sweating today, so it didn't smear. It's amazing. I highly recommend it. It's better than, um, what was the one that I was raving? Oh, Glamouflage. Because Glamouflage does cake and settle in the fine lines, and I can never find anything that matches my color. And this is perfect because it's got yellow undertones and I have olive skin, so it's perfect. I don't have like those white cast Kim Kardashian underneath my eyes. It's amazing. I have yet to try the lip gloss. But anyways, um, yeah, work was shit today. I mean shit, complete shit. I had such a bad day. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. That's all I really wanted to update on. I have some shoes that I might do a separate video on. Um, And, oh, my project. Okay, so, I always go through magazines because I, like, love Better Homes and Garden and Real Simple and all that shit. Um, so, I have a shit look. And plus, like, I, I used to love to cook. I haven't really cooked in a while because it's kind of hard. When you cook for one, it's annoying because you never find recipes for one or... I don't know, like, I just get so lazy. Like, it's very rare that I cook, and if I cook, it's lazy. But I used to go all out. Like, I would have Thanksgiving dinners, and I would make everything. I would be in the kitchen for, like, six hours. I remember one, it was, like, a Christmas dinner that I had with one of my exes. Um, we had oysters Rockefeller um, that I shucked the oysters myself did everything and then we had turkey 
with um, dressing. Some people call it stuffing, but it's dressing when it's not stuffed in the turkey. Um, I made my own gravy, and then we had fresh green beans. What else do we have? Oh, and I make amazing mashed potatoes. I have people that will vouch for me because I put cream cheese and basil and stuff in them. And um, I made a blueberry custard pie for dessert. Yes, I was not out. It was in the kitchen for like six hours. My back was killing me by the time I was done. Speaking of backs, I think I might have a spinal injection next week. Anyways, so with all that, I loved cooking, so I would keep all these like scraps of recipes from all these magazines. And I started cleaning out some of my stuff. I know I said it, cleaning. I hate cleaning. Um, and I found like this whole stack of magazine clippings. And I'm like, what am I gonna do with these? I don't know what I want to do with them. I don't wanna throw them away. That's like the whole hoarding part of me. Like, I don't wanna throw them away because I like them, but I'm never gonna organize them. So what did I do? I decided to create a Tumblr page and actually put up all the recipes. And I've been doing it the lazy way because my phone does a voice recorder. So I look at the recipe and I'm like, eight tablespoons, blah, blah, blah. And if I say enter, it goes to the next one. And if I say comma, it does a comma. If I say period or space, it does it. So it's awesome because I do it all for my cell phone. And I'm uploading all the photos of the pictures from the magazine so that way I can see what it looks because I like recipe books that actually have photos of what it is because I want to know whether it looks good whether the shit's worth eating so that's all I have so I am uploading them all on here so for anybody that's like a foodie or loves to cook I have a tumblr page and it's called the hidden pantry dot dot com and I realized after I created it that there is a thing called the Hidden Pantry, but they sell cooking supplies. So, sorry whoever owns that company. I just randomly thought of it, and then when I Google searched it afterwards, your website came up, so sorry. Um, but it's called the Hidden Pantry, all lowercase, thehiddenpantry.tumblr.com. And, yep, it's pretty cool. I'm very stoked. It took me forever to figure out how the stupid tag pages work because I'm stupid when it comes to Tumblr. At first I didn't see any point to it, but now that I'm doing this recipe thing, I'm like so fucking jazzed about it. But yeah, I don't think really anybody knows about it. I don't even think anybody's seen it, but I have like 17 recipes up so far. And I have like the main page where you can see just like the feed, or I even have I haven't filled up all the links, but I've got appetizers, dinner, and desserts. But it has like quick links, so if you don't want to browse through the feed, you can click on appetizers and it'll take you straight to just the appetizers, desserts, etc., etc. So I'm pretty excited about it. I thought it was cool. But I take no credit into any of the cooking. I even put on there that I get them from magazines. And if they're like, sometimes people will submit the recipes to like Better Homes and Gardens and they'll win something. So I put the name of the winner for the recipe. So I'm not claiming that I made any of these or came up with any of them because they're all magazine photos. So I'm just grouping them all together for personal use and figured I'd share them with the world or anyone who watches my videos. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. And I'm almost done with Supernatural Season 7. I know. Anyways, I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Have a safe and great weekend when it arrives. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Bye! Okay, so this is the page. And it's the Hidden Pantry. So I put a collection of recipes from just about everywhere. These are the links. And, like, this is the feed. So I put the full recipe. Ooh, that's like a chocolate gelato sandwich. But, yeah, those are appetizers. So that's pretty much how I have the layout of the website. And if you click on the links, like for example, desserts. 
Then it brings up just the dessert. This one looks good. Blueberries. So that is my page. But yeah. So I'm pretty excited about it. It's a fun little project that I'm doing. So it's the hidden pantry. Oh, and I thought this was funny. I put, oh, where's my first post? My first post, if I could find it. Oh, if someone were to harm my family or a friend or somebody I love, I would eat them. I might up in jail for 500 years, but I would eat them by Johnny Depp. <laughs> so that's how I started off the Tumblr page. I thought it was funny, but yeah. So check it out if you like to cook. Um, it's thehiddenpantry.tumblr.com. But thanks for watching. Bye.